Terrence Bud Crawford says the Errol Spence Jr. fight will never happen because Errol Spence is too busy trying to throw his weight around as the A-side. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So Terrence Bud Crawford did an interview with uh, ES News in which he stated uh, he don't ever think or don't ever see the Errol Spence Jr. fight taking place due to the fact that Errol Spence Jr. is too busy trying to throw his weight around as the A-side. He says that um, Al Heyman doesn't run me. Uh, he says that, you know, nobody runs me. Bob Aram doesn't run me. Nobody gonna force me to do anything I don't want to do. Uh, if, if the fight will happen, if I want the fight to happen, point blank and period. Uh, what I took from this is that uh, Errol Spence is, is, as the negotiations, Errol Spence feels like he's the A side in the situation and he wants to uh, call the shots. And uh, Terrence Bud Crawford feels like he's the A side, obviously, and he wants to call the shots. Uh, they're going to have to come to a, a common medium. Eventually, this fight is going to have to get done, point blank, period. It will get done. But um, my thoughts on this is that I told you guys before that Errol Spence Jr. is making a case for himself to be the A-side in this situation. If Errol Spence Jr. is to unify the belts and beat Sean Porter uh, in... Um, in September, and if, if he goes on to beat the winner of Keith Thurman versus Manny Pacquiao, he will help then hold the IBF, the WBC, and the WBA titles, leaving Terrence Crawford with only the WBA. Now, Terrence Crawford is recognized as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world by most people that have any real true boxing sense, right? Uh, you'll get some people that tell you Vasil Lomachenko is that the number one pound for pound fight in the world. I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Terrence Crawford is definitely the uh, uh, um, best pound for pound fighter in the entire world. With that said, I told you guys that Errol Spence Jr. Uh, looks at the situation and his team should look at the situation if, and see that uh, if he's victorious against Sean Porter, who's a legit WBC champion, and he is to uh, capture the WBC belt. And then he goes on to fight the winner, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, who is another legit champion. These are two legacy fights. And then he captures the WBA uh, belt and he already holds the IBF title. You know, uh, this is gonna put him in a clear uh, driver's seat to be the A-side when it goes to negotiations with himself and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford, last uh, three opponents, uh, Jose Benavidez, uh, Mia Khan, and um, Jeff Horn. That doesn't stack up to Mikey Garcia, uh, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, and Sean Porter. It just doesn't, right? And then uh, we got to understand that Errol Spence Jr. went over to the UK and took the IBF strap from Kell Brook when Kell Brook was uh, was seen that you know um, you know as a, a major threat in the welterweight division. And Errol Spence Jr. went across the pond and beat Kell Brook over in the UK to capture the IBF title. Now to capture the IBF title from the, uh, Sean Porter, who's a legit uh, welterweight, a legit champion, and a legit threat, and he captures that belt from Sean Porter, right? That's a legacy fight. Now he goes on, let's say Keith Thurman is victorious against Manny Pacquiao, right? Uh, Keith Thurman uh, was looked at for a, a, a period of time as the number one welterweight in the world, and Keith Thurman still hasn't lost. So if Keith Thurman, and he was unified, Keith Thurman held the WBA and the WBC belts. He lost the WBC belt due to the fact of inactivity. So if Keith Thurman uh, was to beat Manny Pacquiao and then Errol Spence is going on and beat Keith Thurman, right? How could there be an argument? There is no argument, you understand? And so now we're gonna have a standoff, an old Western standoff. That's what we're gonna have. And Errol Spence has a legit argument because Errol Spence would have beaten Kell Brook in the UK to capture the IBF title. He would have beaten Sean Porter to beat to capture the WBC title. He would have beaten Keith Thurman to capture the WBA title, right? Where then you look at Terrence Crawford, whom is one of my favorite fighters in the world. But to be honest, you have to look at the situation and say Terrence Crawford beat Jeff Horn for the title, where people thought that Jeff Horn didn't even beat Manny Pacquiao. They thought that he was gifted the belt. So, and then he beats Jose Benavidez, good fighter. And then he beats uh, Amir Khan, good fighter. But they're not on the level of Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, and Kell Brook, right? 
I would favor Kell Brook to beat Jeff Horn. I would favor Kell Brook to beat Amir uh, Khan. I would favor Kell Brook to beat Jose Benavidez. With that said, I would favor Sean Porter to beat all three, Jeff Horn, Benavidez, and Amir Khan. And I would favor um, uh, Keith Thurman to beat all three, Jeff Horn, uh, Amir Khan, and uh, um, Jose Benavidez, right? So when you look at that, and then on top of it, to add a little cherry on top, he beats Mikey Garcia, right? Now we know Mikey Garcia moved up in weight, but he still has Mikey Garcia on his resume. Mikey Garcia was looked at as a pound for pound, top five pound for pound fighter in the world. Mikey Garcia was still undefeated. He moved up one weight class. He moved up from 140 to 47 because three out of Mikey Garcia's last five fights were at 140. So you can't, people like to push the narrative that he was uh, moved up two weight classes, but three majority of his last five fights were at 140 pounds. He had two back-to-back -back fights at 140, actually, fighting Sergey Lipinis and Andre Brona at 140. He dropped back down his last fight to, at 135 to beat uh, Robert Easter, which were all credible opponents for Mikey Garcia. So to beat Mikey Garcia is a legit feather in your cap. So now you look at, he's beating Mikey Garcia. He went to the UK to beat Kell Brook. He's beating Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. I'm speaking hypothetically. Now you look at Terrence Crawford's resume, he needs to get a Danny Garcia, but even if he gets a Danny Garcia on his resume, you still have to look and say Sean Porter and Keith Thurman beat Danny Garcia. You understand what I'm saying? So when you look at it from the outside looking in and you look at it from negotiation standpoints, Errol Spence has made a case for himself to be a legit A-side in this situation. Terrence Crawford needs to move very quickly before Errol Spence even bolster his status even more and then it won't be an argument of who's the A-side, and then we might not ever see the fight if Terrence Crawford feels, listen, I'm the A-side because Terrence Crawford feels like he's the best fighter in the world, and he is the best fighter in the world. I agree. I think that Terrence Crawford is the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He's the number one fighter in the world. And he's universally recognized, except for a chosen few who just choose to put Vasil Lomachenko in that spot. But I would, oh, I would, I would, a hundred out of a hundred times, I would put Terrence Bud Crawford as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. This whole situation is stemming from Terrence Crawford is on uh, uh, the side with Bob Arum in top rank and uh, ESPN, and Errol Spence is on the side with PBC. He doesn't have a promoter. Al Heyman is his manager and advisor, and he's on the on the side with Fox, PBC, uh, and Showtime. And so this is the standoff. Now we have an old Western standoff at the end of the day, but. Errol Spence Jr. is making a case for himself to be the A-side, clear A-side. And, and if anybody's looking at this situation from the outside looking in, uh, it's, not, it's not close who's the A-side in this situation. So hopefully this could get resolved so we can see the fight because this is the biggest fight in the sport of boxing outside of Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder at this point in time. Carissa Shields versus Christina Hammer was, I believe, the number three biggest fight in the world. Um, now we get Errol Spence and uh, Terrence Crawford. Some people may say this is the biggest fight in the world. Uh, I still think that Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua is the biggest fight in the world at this point in time. But should Errol Spence beat Sean Porter and Keith Thurman and Terrence Crawford continues to go on the streak of winning, uh, this will be the biggest fight in the world, point blank and period. So hopefully they can get this resolved, man. There's a resolution to this, man. Uh, hopefully Terrence Crawford uh, doesn't let Errol Spence continue to gain momentum and build up a head of steam and build up his resume and build up his case to be the clear A-side because then we'll never get the fight because Errol Spence is going to say, listen, I'm the clear A-side. Look at my resume. Look what I've done. And Terrence Crawford is going to be saying, well, I'm considered the pound-for-pound -pound best fight in the world. And then we have an old Western standoff. But that's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media World. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Terrence Bud Crawford says the fight will never happen. It won't happen right now because Errol Smith is too busy trying to throw his weight around as the A-side, and he's not hearing it. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby, from the Empress. Much love. Bye.